Do you think Kim Jong Un gonna uh, throwing the weapons here in America? No, or, uh, I don't. Like, I think he's think too so? scared. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah, me too. I don't think so. He's gonna do that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So here is my favorite guy, Trubinsky. <laughs> Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? I'm great, great. Good to see you again. Yeah. Good to see you. Of course. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be interviewed on your channel. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have several questions for him and he's going to answer for it and stay enjoy. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, all right. Um, so how do you feel about being a YouTuber? I feel proud. I feel excited. Um, it's a lot of work, but mm. you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm inspiring people. That's my mm. goal. Mm. And so, the more people that I can reach, the more you know, happier I become. Uh. So it feels it's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be a YouTuber. I understand. Yeah, I feel same. You feel the same. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Yes, we should. <laughs> I'm kind of far away. <laughs> no, don't say that. I mean, you have to start somewhere, and then it takes a long time to grow. Mm. It doesn't happen like overnight, you know, it takes a while. Right. Yeah. All right, next question. Uh, what is the most memorable news about North Korea uh, recently? Recently, um, to be honest, I haven't seen North Korea in the news in the last few months, which is rare. Usually, it's always in the news. Um, trying to think of the last time I've heard North Korea. Don't you agree that it hasn't been lately? It hasn't been in the news? I mean, I don't watch news because um, <laughs> I used to live in, I, I mean, I'm from North Korea, right? So if I turn on the uh, yeah. TVs and they're always uh, putting news on on our channel, so right. I'm very tired of news. I also don't watch news, which is why I'm having a hard time answering the question, but there's always news about like, Kim Jong Un has like a, a missile, a nuclear weapon that he's threatening the U.S. And usually I read those headlines, uh -huh. but I try to stay away from the news. So yeah. Right, right. Do you think Kim Jong Un gonna uh, throwing the weapons here in America? No, or, I don't. Like, I think he's think too so? scared. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah, me too. I don't think so he's gonna do that. <laughs> and then yeah, do you think America is uh, lending in? Corresponding well with the issue in Asia and North Korea overall. Corresponding? Yeah, corresponding. Um, <laughs> it's tough. Like I, I try not to get too political in, in my opinions and in my content. And the truth of the matter is, like I don't know enough about the situation. I don't like read about it. I don't know everything what's happening. Mm -hmm. I do know that America is definitely involved because we like to get our hands involved in, in many different. Um, places around the world, such as Afghanistan, and it's not always the best decision for the U.S., but I do think we are involved, and I sincerely hope that a big war is not going to happen, and I hope that more people are not killed because, you know, for, for the human rights issues that are happening, I just wish that everybody will be safe and there will be peace. Right. I agree with that. But it's, it's hard for me to know, like, how America is, is what role are they playing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we are enemies with North Korea because we want to promote freedom and capitalism and democracy. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to um, get rid of the, the terrible regime in North Korea, but it's not easy to do that. And so, yeah, mm -hmm. that's all I can say about it. Mm -hmm. um, you think, like, North Korea, like, your enemy too? Definitely. You feel like that too? Personally or yeah, with personal. America? Yeah, personally. No, I mean, not really. I look at all humans as the same. <laughs> I went to North Korea and I was able to have conversations with Koreans mm -hmm. when I was there and they're nice people. You're a nice person. Mm -hmm. She's a nice person. Like, you. you know, so they still have good intentions and they're, they have dreams and hopes and they, they like to smile and laugh, mm -hmm. you know, and they play games. So they're regular people. I have a problem with the human rights issues that are happening, not only in North Korea in in other countries, there are human rights issues. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I, it, North Korea is not an enemy for me because I look at all humans as, as the same. Right? Yes. Not all North Koreans are bad people. No, In not fact, at all. they're not bad people at all. It's the government that's the bad people. Right. Not the people itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you like Chicago, uh, about Chicago? 
Chicago is my favorite city in the U.S. Uh, my dad is from here. I grew up coming here as a kid. I'm a big Chicago sports fan. So the Cubs and the Bears and the Blackhawks and the Bulls, all the uh -huh. Chicago sports teams I am obsessed with. Uh -huh. My family, my aunts and uncles still live here. Um, I went to University of Wisconsin, which is in Madison, right, right. just two hours away. And so I have a Midwestern um, background and mm -hmm. I, I lived here in the cold winters for four months. And I always love coming back here and it's beautiful, beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. And I just get happy every time I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Great food, great people, great culture uh -huh. in Chicago. And yeah, it's like more clean. And it's cleaner than New York. I was uh -huh. just in New York and, and I, it, I was very upset by the, the dirtiness and the cleanliness right, right, that's happening. You. It's so disgusting. I know. Um, I know. The apartments like so right. small. And, and, and the subway everything. in New York is gross. But Chicago, <laughs> Chicago is amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Uh, so, what is your habit? My and, habit. Yeah, and how do you? How oh, do hobby. You, yeah, hobbies. Sorry. Mm -hmm, it's okay. How how do you relieve, relieve stress? Yeah. Relieve what are my stress. hobbies? Uh, I like to play golf. Golf. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. So for me, that's a way that I can just n not have to focus on making videos, and I can just relax my body. Mm. Uh, I grew up playing golf, so it's just a beautiful sport, and you can mm -hmm. spend four hours in the nature, just like hitting a little ball into a hole. Yeah. And for me, it's fun. You know what's funny? I heard that <clears throat> North Koreans believe that Kim Jong Un mm -hmm. is the best golfer in the world, and that he scored really? he scored an 18 on 18 <gasps> holes. Do you know I, what that? I have no idea what is that. They said, I don't play golf. You don't at understand all. golf. No. Do you know what it is? Golf. You hit um, a ball into the yeah, hole. Yeah, I know, I know. Right. Okay. I know. So that. the best score that you can get is a hole in one. Mm -hmm. it means if you hit it and you mm -hmm. make it in the hole in one shot, <gasps> and they say that Kim Jong Un d does that on every shot. Oh my god. Which is impossible. Wow, I think he had plenty of time, so that's why he just playing golf all the time. So wow, what a rich guy! There is a golf course in, in uh, Pyongyang. Wow, I didn't know course. about that. Yeah. Like I didn't know what what golf was when it, I live in there. Yeah, it's not a very common sport, but mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. What are my hobbies? Um, I like to listen to music. I like to hang out with friends, go to the bar and, and chat. And um, what kind of music are you listening? Um, I like. Classic rock. I like electronic music. Oh, yeah. me too, me too. I like K-pop. <laughs> just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> when I was teaching English in Korea, my st my middle school students were obsessed with K-pop, and so I know all the songs mm -hmm. from 2013. Which those songs are irrelevant now because every like month there's a new new trend. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's very and trendy. New, yeah, new members and new trend yeah. and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so this is very important question for uh, who are uh, opening new YouTube channel. Mm. So what would I say? What what advice would I give to new YouTubers? Yes, yes. So there's a lot of things. Uh, first, post often and consistently. Mm -hmm. So stick to a schedule, like whether it's three times a week or every day. Mm -hmm. You want to post at the same time and mm -hmm. keep the same kind of content coming. Mm -hmm. Don't make totally different videos about one is about travel, one is about fashion, one is about food one is about nightlife, then you don't have a brand. Mm -hmm. So try to focus on your niche mm -hmm. and like what, wh first of all, find out what you're interested in. Mm -hmm. For me, I love travel and meeting people. So mm -hmm. that's most of my stories are about that. Mm -hmm. um, but whatever you're interested in, if it's food, then make more food videos mm -hmm. and keep it really consistent like with your brand mm -hmm. and find out what stories go more viral. It doesn't have to be millions. It can be a thousand views, mm -hmm. um, whatever stories people want to see keep mm -hmm. making more of those stories mm. if one video goes viral mm -hmm. don't make a, the next video don't make it about something else keep it on the same topic right um, and then engaging with your community like responding to comments doing giveaways and trying to grow trying to help everybody together and communicating with them is really important mm. so be accessible if they want to reach out to you mm -hmm. whether it's email or direct message or I don't know, um, Facebook comment, Instagram live, mm -hmm. just do it all across all platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok. That's the challenge. Wow. Yeah, that's the challenge. <laughs> that's too much. So <laughs> Way too much. It's a lot to handle yeah. and I did it all myself for many years and now I have wow. a, a team of people that help me um, on each platform. But um, That's great. That's great. Yeah, it's just a matter of staying consistent and not giving up. Mm -hmm. It's easy to give up. It is. It is. So you I gotta agree with that. Keep, you're doing a great job though. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> Keep going. <Very> hard. <laughs> okay. And then um, 
sorry, but I ask a lot of questions. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Do you think YouTube and other so social media can help societies and systems in other countries? Absolutely. I think YouTube is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Every country um, is able to access YouTube, except maybe North Korea and a couple other countries where they can't view YouTube. But it's more powerful than news. I mean, you can just go on YouTube and type in anything and, and learn about the world, and it's free, free access to uh, information. And so, mm -hmm. I think absolutely, content creators are becoming more and more powerful, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of leverage in, um, and, and our voices are heard by millions of people. Which, it, like, the most popular Netflix shows are only getting like 20 or 30 million downloads, but you know, my videos get 50 million views a month. So. Mm -hmm. When you think about the numbers, like it, it, it's really effective, mm -hmm. um, and that goes with not only YouTube but Instagram as well. It's global, and the internet is is great, and it's here to stay, and it's the best way to um, share information. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, so it's I, just like uh, searching Google. Exactly. It's like one of like you learning there, and then searching for your topics and subjects and everything. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people learn about North Korea through our videos and I get a lot of messages from people and they say thank you for teaching me something that I didn't know about. You right, know? right. So yeah. that's that's what it's all about. Right. Wow. <laughs> that's inspiring. <laughs> okay. So this is a very exciting question and you get married <laughs> with um Diana. Diana. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really want to meet her one day. I would love for you to meet her. She, yeah. she would love to meet you as well. Yeah, she's, she seems sweet. She's amazing. We, mm -hmm. We've been together for six years. We met mm -hmm. in the Philippines and uh, we've been traveling the world together and now we just bought a house in Arizona. Oh. And so she helps me out a lot with, with my work and she's also a, she owns her own business and so... <gasps> wow, yeah. that's cool. That's mm -hmm. very cool. So how you feel like your marriage life? It feels great. I mean, it's... She's the person for me, and it's um, it's where I see myself now. And I, I think marriage life is a good life. I, I you recommend people to get married? Yeah, it's a personal choice, of course. I'm 30 years old, so I feel like <laughs> at my age, I feel like the time is now right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. I think it's it's a great thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I want to get married. <laughs> uh, 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 you, will, you will find yeah. the the man of your dreams. Yes. All right. <laughs> So this question, I remember like when we taking a video uh, at the first time, and you tell me about like um, you always ask this question to other people, right? So if you want to tell something to the world, what will that be? That's a great question, and that's something that I ask everybody. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm <laughs> asking you. Um, I would just say, don't be afraid to be yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are too shy to, to speak their mind mm -hmm. or they're too scared of what their parents think or what their friends think, but just be yourself. Um, the key to your success is your uniqueness. Everybody's unique in their own way. Yeah. So just don't be afraid to let it all out and then mm -hmm. people will eventually like you for who you are. Yes. Don't try to be someone that you're not. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very kind message and then I strongly agree with that. Thank yeah. you so much, Evelyn. Great to see you again yes. on this beautiful day in mm -hmm. Chicago. And I look forward to meeting you again in the future. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. So I will see you all next time. Bye. Come <laughs> Samdida. <laughs>